Now, if you guys don't already know, one of Roblox's biggest purposes is for people to create games for people to enjoy, and basically make anything that comes to their imagination. And there are tens of millions of games that are able to be played, most with free access. And games, or experiences, which is what Roblox likes to call them, has evolved over time. With Roblox being first released on September 1st of 2006, at that time, the games that were being produced were pretty old-fashioned as this was around 17 years ago, and games were not that advanced during that time period. But just a few years after Roblox's initial release, on April 5th, 2008, Roblox user known as Wingman8 would create the widely popular classic game known as Armored Patrol. As of now, the game itself has around 68 million visits, which is actually pretty good for a game that was made that long ago. But as of today, the game is unplayable. But now you may ask, why is this considered one of Roblox's darkest corners? Well, on January 16th of 2018, Armored Patrol version 9.5 will be released. Now this game is actually a maintained and upgraded version of the original Armored Patrol. The reason why this game was even made was so players of Roblox can play this version of Armored Patrol as the original one is unplayable. Hence the name of the creator of this version being Armored Patrol Hero. And keep in mind that Armored Patrol Hero is not Wingman and they are both different people. By the way, for the entirety of this video I will be referring Armored Patrol Hero as APH because saying Armored Patrol Hero every time I mention him would just be a mouthful. Now, the gameplay for this is not bad, it's enjoyable, and may be considered fun to most users who find this game. But what if I told you that the owner of this 33 million visit game was actually one of the most deplorable people and unhinged users on all of Roblox? Do not play this Roblox game and here's why. Before I tell you why, like and subscribe if you love your family. This game is called Armored Patrol and the reason why is because the developer got exposed for really really bad stuff. Instead you should search for the other Armored Patrol by a guy named Mugen. On October 17th of 2022, a Roblox YouTuber known as Mugen with over 8,000 subscribers will make a video titled Do Not Play Armored Patrol 9.5. As some of you may have heard a few days ago, the Have the Armored Patrol Restoration Project was out as a child. As you can see from this video, Mugen explains that APH was exposed as a P-word. Now, this isn't the main video exposing this person, as in the description there is another YouTube link that takes you to another video exposing him. The creator of this video is known as Bad Blocks, and he exposes bad people like myself. But within the video, he completely exposes everything on this person. Armored Patrol Hero, who was 22 years old, admitted to being a pedophile many months ago in a group chat witnessed by Ruben Sim. Hero later deleted his Discord account in an attempt to anonymize these messages. As you can already tell according to that portion of the video, APH is 22 years old and has admitted to using alternate accounts to groom children. There are at least three of these accounts according to Badblox's video. And these accounts are catfished as girls to lure underage boys specifically. But as of now, I only know two accounts that APH would use. The first one being named Kathy735, which was created back in May 1st of 2018. And the other being named Caitlin537, which was created back in March 7th of 2019. Both of these accounts were made with the sole purpose of luring underage boys so that APH could say and virtually do unspeakable things to them. Here is a little screen recording of one of his alter egos, Kathy, messaging a minor in a very vile way. And if you're still skeptical of the screen recording, I have the messages linked in the description if you want to go view it for yourself. But remember, viewer discretion is advised. And plus, these messages were recorded on a phone, and if you don't know by now, it is quite literally almost impossible to inspect element Discord messages on phone, or even fake them. Before I go any further, I just want to say that Badblox's video is linked in the description below if you want to go view it for yourself after you watch this video. The backstory to these accounts is that they are alter egos in which APH attempts to make them look like real people who are administrators of his. And keep in mind that this dude is in his early 20s which makes him a literal adult and plus this has been going on for years now. As I previously stated, his first alter ego account was made years ago. To make things even more deplorable, APH even made an unrealistic backstory for these accounts, Kathy and Caitlyn. The backstory to them was that they are lesbian sisters who did disgusting and incestual things with each other in a mobile home. And to make matters even more worse and disturbing, APH would virtually do weird and sexual acts within the game with another p-word known as Veely. And they would do this with a literal minor who was allegedly 15 years old at the time. 
And apparently, according to Badblox's video, Vili was close with this miner and almost met up with him in real life. Vili happened to be in close proximity to this child in real life and nearly met up with them. It seems to me that the main point of this game was to remake a classic game that was popular after it being shut down, just to lure a bunch of players, specifically underage boys, so the owner, APH, could create female catfish alter egos and mask them as admins for the game so they look legit and lure underage kids, the majority being boys, to groom them and text them in disgusting and vile ways while being 22 years of age, while also having a girlfriend in the process. But what's even more crazy is that he even admitted to his actions. APH confessed in a group chat on Discord with someone known as Deadly Force, who is a programmer for another game made by APH, known as Armored Patrol 2. APH's girlfriend and the other previously mentioned P-word, Vili. This conversation took place on October 17th of 2022. APH being the deleted user in this group chat says, I am already so far with trying to move on and confess. His girlfriend says, We just have to make things clear. You've given a lot of maybes and a lot of buzzwords. APH says, Blank, this is not easy. Girlfriend says, I know, but you made your bed and now you have to sleep in it. Vili says, Put it in the clearest terms and we'll help you in the clearest terms and you'll understand more than you ever did and you'll be glad for it moving forward. Now before we continue this conversation, you might be wondering, why is Vili pushing APH to confess if he is also a P-word? I'm not sure, but I do believe that this guy plays both sides for some reason. Take this voice call with Vili as something to go off of. So is there like a reason you sent a talk pick to a 14 year old? Or 15 year old weather, none 14, of, none 15? Of that's none of that's excusable, especially you're drinking or any of that. I was grew up with family. My parents, first of all, my mom was 14, dad was 18. They excuse that they didn't grow up with good influence, all that shit. But that's not fucking okay. It really isn't. And the worst part is, when it's isolated like that, that sticks with you. It hurts you more than anything else. I didn't manipulate people, but unfortunately, they use that. Want to do like whole admin stuff. Fucking sucks, by the way. So. I don't excuse any. I don't excuse any bullshit like that. Period, and that's why it makes me repulse. I've never seen this video to this day because that shit was wrong from the beginning. It's weird because Vili seems to be against the stuff that APH did, but yet he contributed with the deplorable and vile actions that he would commit. But for now, I digress. And back with the conversation on Discord. APH says, I already am trying to put it in the clearest terms that I messed up with the Kathy account and messed up a ton of stuff. I made bad choices, and I take full responsibility. So as you can see there, APH admits to owning the Kathy account which also means he was a part of the Caitlyn account as well. Because like I've said previously, the made up backstory of these two non-existent people include how they were both sisters. Deadly Force says, okay so you admit you were both Kathy and Caitlyn, meaning that when you said very recently mind you that Caitlyn was into me. APH says, I don't even remember that which is just a lie as he had just admitted to owning the accounts a little minute ago. He then goes on and says, I have changed as a person so significantly much in the last two months, and I am sorry and I apologize. His girlfriend then says, you haven't stopped cheating in the last two months. APH says, I am sorry blank. Girlfriend says, no you're not because you keep BSing me. APH says, I was under full assumption that you were not the one for me, and I still do not know if you are because I am scared of that stuff I saw, but I'm trying. Girlfriend then says, I have given you nothing but love and mercy. APH then goes on and says, I'm sorry, thank you so much and I beg to be forgiven to the smallest degree. I do not think I have the energy to keep going tonight. I beg for mercy from everyone here for tonight. Girlfriend finally says, and I quote, we've shown you more mercy than you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, a bit over a month ago, the previously mentioned Roblox YouTuber and Roblox creator, Mugen, talked to APH's girlfriend regarding the situation. And APH's girlfriend says that they are not cancer free, and that they were still battling cancer at the time. They sent that message, which, once again, is pretty recent with these messages taking place a little over a month ago. So not only is APH a P-word, but also a complete scumbag degenerate as well, who cheats on his girlfriend who is already battling with cancer. I'm very quickly believing that this guy has no morals whatsoever and does not care about anyone at all or how they feel. APH's girlfriend then says that APH wasn't just grooming underage boys, but there was one female as well. Now, after all of this, I decided to contact Muki myself, who knows a lot about the situation, and needless to say, he gave me a lot more information. 
For one, I actually found out that there was yet another alter ego of APH. This one was named Ludicrous Mode, and all I know about this one is that this account used to be a normal alt of APH. But then APH would try convincing people that this guy was someone separate. Another thing Mugen told me is that there was allegedly a lot of admin abuse within the game Armor Patrol version 9.5. There is this wiki about it and I'll be reading some of it here. It states, Admin abuse specifically in the Armor Patrol Discord and the game is a big problem being reported by a few players. Admins have been known to abuse their power in some cases such as kicking people from the game for simply defeating them in Armored Patrol. Unfortunately, we do not have any 100% solid and reliable evidence of admins doing such corrupt acts, and the evidence we do have does not take into account the entire context of the situation. So for now, admin abuse is currently a semi-reliable rumor. The wiki shows some screenshots of what looks to be players being kicked from the game while the admin is threatening users. While there is also a YouTube comment asking about this too, and apparently, APH is also admin abusing as well. In this clip that has been circulating the internet for the last two years, you can see this player being kicked by someone none other than Ludicrous Mode, which is APH's alt account. So now, the admins and owner of Armor Patrol 9.5 allegedly abused her powers too. Great. Like things weren't bad enough already. As I've talked about earlier, Armor Patrol version 9.5 is a Roblox game by Armor Patrol Hero which was remade from the original version made by Wingman8. But the owner of the updated version, Armor Patrol Hero, is one of the most vile human beings on all of Roblox. From making multiple alter egos catfished as girls to lure underage boys while being 22 years of age while cheating on his girlfriend in the process who was battling cancer at the time, but also letting himself and other p-words do disgusting and deplorable things with other minors in the game as well. This has to be one of the most darkest things I've ever seen on Roblox. And mind you, Roblox is supposed to be a website for kids, and not some predator playground. 